Although the coronavirus pandemic is still ongoing and continues to affect the entire world and is always on our minds, we should still be careful of other viruses and diseases. Yes, an example is malaria, which many consider to be one of the world's deadliest diseases. The good news is that the British government is funding the development of advanced drone technology to combat malaria. Although the world is gripped by the COVID-19 pandemic, we should also keep watch for other diseases and illnesses as well, such as malaria. It is one of the world's deathless diseases which kills around 400,000 people each year. Thankfully, the UK government is now developing satellites and drones. It is the first project of its kind in the UK. These satellites are tasked with locating mosquitoes and their nests. Once they are located, drones are deployed to kill them and their larvae. The UK Space Agency provided £380,000 or around US dollars for the development of the project, dubbed the DTEC project. It is currently in an eight-month trial program set to conclude in March 2021. The ultimate aim of the project is to completely eradicate malaria by working with other communities around the globe. The leader of the project, Andrea Berardi, stated that they want to tackle malaria straight at the source. What we want to do in the DETECT project is to tackle malaria pre preemptively. We want to find out where mosquitoes are breeding and then attack them in these breeding sites. Eliminate the larvae of the mosquitoes before they develop into adults and start biting people and spreading the disease. The project has been deployed for testing in flood-prone areas across Guyana and Zanzibar. Leaders of the project also hopes that Guyana will invest in the technology. In return, the project is set to provide job opportunities for locals as ground staff and data monitors. Our target is to eliminate malaria globally. There are other strategies currently being developed, genetically modified mosquitoes and uh, using, uh, eventually people want to develop vaccinations against malaria. But we think that possibly these strategies are not going to be cost effective or they uh, will be very, very difficult to implement. What we are proposing by using some clever space technologies is a very cost effective uh, strategy, but in addition, it is going to provide a lot of secondary benefits to communities. An engineering consultant firm called Blue Bear System Research develops a similar method consisting of small satellites. These portable satellites are tasked to find bodies of water. Afterwards, a tracker drone is deployed to assess if the body of water is a breeding ground for a mosquitoes. If so, a spray drone is launched to the area to spray it with a special type of bacterium, which only kills mosquitoes larvae, while being harmless to other animals and plants. The operation can be run from a portable mission control center in the UK where the drones can be tracked and data can be processed. Aside from combating malaria, such drone technologies can eventually also be used for agriculture and even disaster management.